30 years ago this summer, Yellowstone National Park was changed by fire. That's right, the largest fire of 1988 also burned again in 2016. We recently visited an area burned by both the North Fork Fire in 1988 and the Mi Maple Fire in 2016 to see how Yellowstone's forests have changed in the past three decades. 30 years ago this summer, 51 fires, nine of them human-caused, blackened nearly 790,000 acres of Yellowstone, roughly 36% of the park. The largest was right here, started by a cigarette. That fire in particular, the North Fork, at 410,000 acres, really changed the landscape of Yellowstone and really started laying the groundwork for how we manage fire now. North Fork started outside the park near the west entrance and ultimately burned almost to Mammoth Hot Springs. That was, a, at the time, an unprecedented event in our recorded history. So while we can go through the, the tree ring data and, and the pollen record and after the fact and, and realize that 88 was right on the mark in terms of what you might expect in this ecosystem. 80% of Yellowstone is lodgepole pine, and lodgepole needs fire to multiply. That hadn't happened in the North Fork for a long time. Oh yeah, it had most likely burned four or 500 years previously, um, before 1988. And, um, and, and that's how it, it evolved into what it was when it burned in 1988. Because again, it's, it's lodgepole and it requires fire to reproduce. Lodgepole grows tall, but North Fork in 1988, and then on the Maple Fire in 2016 in this same area, both burned because of fuels on the ground. What's really interesting about this uh, fire scene from 1988 and then again from the Maple Fire in 2016 is, is the, it's obvious looking at where the fire was with the black. You can see the black and stump and the black and ground. But in reality, how this fire burned is where this red is. At one point in time, that was a log. It's gone and that's how hot this fire burned in 2016, much like it did 30 years ago in 1988. Hot, dry conditions and fuels ripe for fire. 1988 brought all of that together. And because of the makeup of forest land in Yellowstone, it will happen again. We've got open parks like we have in Cougar Meadow. Uh, we've got in, you know, 300 year old lodgepole and, and spruce fir forests. And so it's this great mix that makes this landscape unique. And it's all resilient. It comes back at, at one speed or another on its own pace. Yes, yes, this area will burn again, whether it's in 10 years or 500 years. I am confident that this area where we're standing will burn again. In Yellowstone National Park, Chet Lehman, MTN News. By the way, the Maple Fire of 2016 was the first fire in the park to burn within the scar of the 1988 fires. 1988 fires were the largest firefighting effort in the United States at that time. Wow. Yeah. I never realized it was started by a cigarette. Yeah, that, yeah, that one was, the North yeah. Fork Fire, 410,000, yeah. the largest uh, years ever in the park. And wow. Yeah, crazy stuff. Great job on that story. A lot Thank of fascinating much. facts. Thank you. I know you love Yellowstone. I, I love how much, much so. you love sharing it with the rest of love us. That. It is time for a quick break. Montana This Morning is back to wrap it up with Carson's forecast and a look at your headlines in a moment. Stay with us.